Today I'm going to give you the best weapons and metal loadouts in Warzone 2 that are going to make you one of the top players in the world. And I'm going to teach you what you need to use to get a guaranteed victory in Warzone 2 every single time you play. If you want to get a guaranteed victory in Warzone 2, you have to use the right loadout. You have to use the right tools for the right job. You can't be a lumberjack trying to cut down a tree with a scalp, and you can't be a surgeon doing organ transplant with a chainsaw. You gotta use the right tools. And your tools in Warzone 2 are your weapons, and there's only three classes that really are viable in Warzone 2. The first class is a class I like to call near and far. You're nearsighted, you're farsighted, and you got nothing in between. With this class, you primarily use a sniper rifle. That is your primary weapon of choice. If you're a great sniper, this class is probably for you. You use a sniper rifle to pick off enemies from range. However, when you need to move up or an enemy is pushing up on you, you have an SMG as your backup. This gives you an opportunity to get some quick bullets off, get a quick kill if someone does push you, or you can actually use the SMG as a weapon to push up on enemies when the ring is closing. So if you're getting pushed into the ring, the SMG is probably going to be your go-to choice there. This class is really well-rounded, and with this class, I suggest you use an anti-tank mine and a snapshot grenade. The anti-tank mines are great because unlike the claymores, they don't have lasers indicating where they are. They're easy to tuck into a corner or around the edge of a doorway or stay of stairs. The enemy won't see them until they're right on top of them. And the snapshot grenade works best with awareness. If you can hear an enemy coming up the stairs behind you, it gives you an opportunity to throw a snapshot grenade in there and see how many enemies there are and where they're pushing you from. Or if you are pushing up on enemies in the ring, you can use a snapshot grenade to see how many enemies are in a building before you go into that building. It's a great class for people who are good at sniping and good at rushing. This next class is what most people in Warzone 2 actually use. It fits well across multiple different categories and gives you the opportunity to play the game as you see fit. I call it the kind of perfectly balanced class because it works really well, but it's not perfectly balanced yet. With this class, you're going to be using an assault rifle as your primary and a sniper rifle as your secondary. The assault rifle is what you're going to use in most engagements from close to mid range. Sniper rifles can give you an opportunity to pick off some enemies before they get close. This class is perfect for people who like to defend areas of the map. If you get into the ring early and you want to defend a building, this class works perfect for you. You can use a sniper rifle to pick off enemies at range, or you can use the assault rifle if they're getting closer to you. And the assault rifle gives you an opportunity to get some really good mid-range kills. However, this class struggles at very close range. If someone's within 5 or 10 feet of you, you're going to have a really hard time, because with this class, the assault rifle and the sniper rifle are really good at killing enemies from range, but as they get closer to you, you start losing effectiveness because you have less mobility while aimed down sights, which is why I recommend you use a stun grenade. When you use a stun grenade, it slows down the enemy's movements and slows down their ability to turn. This gives you the opportunity to get down sights while the enemy is slowed down, and you can get a quick and easy kill because they're still going to be stunned for easily 4-5 to five seconds. And with this class, I recommend you use a frag grenade as your lethal equipment. Frag grenades are great because you can bounce them off walls and surfaces, and on top of that you can actually throw them behind cover if an enemy is hiding there, and it will detonate within a 3 meter radius, damaging, breaking, or even killing some enemies if they're low on health. But like I said, the biggest downside of this class is you're not going to be effective at close range. So with this, you always want to have the high ground, you want to have the defensive position, or support a teammate who's using the next class we're going to talk about here. And that brings me to the next and best loadout that you can use in Warzone 2. That's one I recommend everyone gets good at and gets effective at because it's what a lot of pro players use. The Assault Rifle or LMG and SMG class. This is what I like to call the Pro Dominator. This class gives you the opportunity to push up on enemies with an SMG, or pick off enemies at range with an LMG AR. But the biggest fallback with this class is actually picking off enemies at very long ranges. If an enemy is 125 meters or further, chances are you're not going to be able to break them or kill them from that distance with your current weapons. Now some people can get really really good with the AR or LMG and get all their shots on the enemy at that distance, but it is very hard to do. So this class is entirely based around movement. With this class you're always on the move, you're not really stopping to defend a position until the very end of the ring. But this class is very much a right tool for the right job class. When it comes to mid ranges or long ranges, you're going to be using an AR or LMG every single time. When an enemy gets within 25, 30 meters of you, you want to be using that SMG and dominate them and completely shred them before they even get close to you. And with the SMG, you can melt enemies as soon as they come in the building, and they'll be killed before they can even realize what happened. With this class being a rusher based class, I recommend you use a flash grenade as your tactical equipment. You can throw a flash grenade off a corner of a doorway or into a room and flash the enemy and run in and get some quick kills with your SMG. However, for your lethal, I recommend you use a wall charge. With this, it'll throw a grenade into the room so you can throw the grenade into the room, bounce a flashbang off the doorway, and completely disorient and destroy the enemy before you even get into the room. And once you do get in the room, you're just picking off whatever the enemy is left. This gives you a great opportunity to rush into rooms and I highly recommend that you use this class and you get really good with this class. If you can control the recoil of ARs and LMGs, you can get those long range shots. And this is the class you see a lot of pro players using, 
so it's what I recommend you use. And now we're moving on to the section that everyone really cares about, the best weapons. In Warzone 2, there's only two viable assault rifles at the moment, the TAC-56 and the M4. With the TAC-56, the best loadout you can use on it is the 17.5 inch Tundra Barrel, the Harbinger D20 Silencer, the 5.56 high velocity ammo to get enemies at range, a 60 round mag so you never run out of ammo, and the TAC Light Stock. This can give you the best opportunity in Warzone 2 as far as assault rifles go, However, the only downside to this weapon is you're running iron sights, so enemies at range are going to have a little bit hard time hitting. However, the iron sights on the TAC-56 are pretty good. And when it comes to the M4, it's a little more versatile than the TAC-56. With the M4, I recommend you use the Echolus 80 muzzle, the high tower 20 inch barrel, the Cronin Mini Pro Optic, the FSS Sharkfin underbarrel grip, and the 60 round magazine just so you don't ammo dump enemies and run out of ammo and engagements. And when it comes to the SMG class, the Fennec 45 is the premier SMG in Warzone 2. However, the biggest downside to it is the range. It's not effective past 25 meters. So with this class, I recommend you run the VLK 7 milliwatt laser, the Assault 7 stock, the Phase 3 grip, the 45 round magazine, and the stippled grip. This is gonna give you the best loadout for a well-rounded SMG in Warzone 2, and this will give you a fast fire rate for the Fennec 45. However, the other SMG that's dominant in Warzone 2, but not quite as effective as the Fennec 45 is the Vaznev 9K. This is kind of a well-balanced SMG. I recommend using the FSS Old V Laser, the Markeev R7 Stock, the FTAC Ripper 56 Underbarrel Attachment, and the 45 round magazine with the X2 grip for faster aim down sights. This is probably going to be the best loadout you can use with the Vaznev 9K, and it makes it a little bit more effective at the mid range, so I recommend using it if you're using a near and far class. However, in Warzone 2, there's only one sniper rifle that stands out as being the best the Victus XMR. I recommend using a Bruin 90 silencer because it has no aim down sight decrease, the Mark 8 33.5 inch barrel the VLK 7 milliwatt laser, the XRK Rise 50 stock, and the high velocity ammunition. With all this being said, the best weapon in Warzone 2, beyond a doubt, is the RPK. The RPK is completely melting enemies from any range in Warzone 2, however it struggles at close range still, it's still the best weapon you can possibly use in Warzone 2. For the RPK class, there's definitely some attachments that make the gun infinitely better. The Demo X2 rear grip, the VX Pineapple underbarrel grip, the Pro Light Stock, the ZLR Talon Muzzle, and 762 High Velocity Ammunition. This is going to make it shred opponents in Warzone 2 while not giving up mobility or giving up range. This is by far the best weapon in Warzone 2 and it's the one I recommend you use, especially with the Pro Dominator class I told you about earlier. With all this being said, there's only one other thing besides the best weapons and the best loadouts in Warzone 2 that'll make you a better player. Playing with your friends. If you're playing with your friends in Warzone 2, you're having fun anyways. On top of that, if you have a really good cohesion, you work well with your teammates, you get along great, you're going to do a lot better and perform a lot better. And on top of that, if you can find teammates who each run one of these different classes I told you about today, you'll be well balanced. Where one class lacks, the other classes will make up for it. While a pro dominator class is really terrible at long range, the other two classes will cover the long range of sniping. If you have three teammates and each one of them runs one of these classes, you will be a perfectly balanced team and that will make you better than anything else. If you're running the right weapons and the right loadouts and the right team all together, you will be unstoppable. If you can put together all three of these classes today, this will make you the best player in Warzone 2 and guarantee you getting a victory every single time you play the game. And I highly recommend you check out some of my other videos if you're interested in the story of Modern Warfare 2. If you wanna know where Alex is, here's a video on that right here. And until next time, I am Iceberg's your Call of Duty informant. Stay frosty.